What is up, people? How are you doing today? I'm doing amazing. Yeah, I, I must start by saying a big thank you to everybody. Like, th thank you for subscribing, thank you for watching the video, and I hope you guys are enjoying everything that is happening right now. Yeah, uh, a little change. I tried to use those. Uh, the problem is I'm not going to stay here, so I don't get the point why I'm starting to place more things in here. Uh, but yeah, I kind of went exploring again. I know, I know, I know. And I thought we could probably find the base together. All of us. And I thought that's that's a good part that I want you guys to to see. Uh, I've got some question for you. What you think I should do? Um, this is the Android station. I can because I'm an Android. Um, now I can pretty much have powers. So what I can do is I've already selected the movement speed because it's super important. But I need to choose between increasing my attack. Or decreasing the damage I take and it will be important because you cannot have those one here so if I choose the attack boost I will be able to get flash cooling which give me 20% chance to instantly cool my weapon down so that means I'll be able to attack faster and a sonic shockwave so when I fall I can click shift and I'll do boom and people are just gonna get knocked back or I can go with nano armor, which reduces the damage. A plasma shield, which is going to make it that I can't get hit by projectile. And a cloak, which can allow me to go invisible, which could be could be pretty cool. So yeah, let me know down there in the comment section which one you would think would be the best. Uh, yeah, that would be a good thing. Second thing. There's a new update that just came out on the C team, and we updated. Uh, they said that the scope uh, was fixed. So I do want to do it, and if you didn't know how to make it is uh, like that. And I've already created this. This is pretty easy to do. Uh, those, I, you can craft them, but mine I just found. Uh, you can do the tritonium plate with the tritonium ingots like that. It gives you a plate. And those things are pretty much just, again, tritonium, redstone, and an ender pearl in the middle. It gives you four already. So, pr pretty easy to do. This is just a crystal you find pretty much everywhere where you, find, where you mind. And this is the only thing. You need to use the molecular assembler. It says it uses 64,000 RF. If you put the battery in your molecular assembler, it's going to drain the battery. Fully drain the battery. No matter what you have in the battery, it's going to drain it. Uh, it did say that it holds five, 512,000 RF. I placed a 1 million RF battery in here. It drained the full battery, didn't even cook my thing. But when it's connected with a leadstone energy cell or anything else, it works. So, what you do, you place your two things, and it's going to start working. Uh, also, I've been using this to charge batteries and things like that. So, like, let's say I need to charge the battery of my rifle, even if I don't. I just put it in here, and, you know, it charged already. So, yeah, and then I can put it back. Uh, if you didn't know, weapon station, you can modify your weapons. So, yeah. Uh, this one I found like on a guy, you all know that. Found it like on first episode, well, second episode. Uh, and like you can change a couple of things on it. Like uh, this one was already on, but like this is like 150% damage. Uh, this one adds uh, capacity, like so you can shoot more and you don't need the recharge things that you find everywhere. Uh, the energy packs, you don't need to carry them with you. If you don't have the battery, you need the energy packs. Uh, this one is to change the color. Uh, I could show you, I found those. So if I put it, like the gun becomes red, but I don't like it because it's fully red. Even the black part becomes red. So I think maybe this, this the monitor should work on because it shouldn't be 
like changing the black color, it should only be changing the main color. And yeah, I pretty much just found the red. <laughs> so, alright, is, is it done? Yeah, okay, it's done. So, now we've got the isolated circuit 2. So, I'm just gonna grab everything I need. So, let's see if we can craft it. I'm like, pretty sure we can, yeah. I thought we couldn't. The problem is the glass hasn't been changed. They didn't change the glass yet. Like, they said they fixed it, but look, 102, 13. This is the, the ID of the glass. And this one, 102. So, yeah, that's kind of the problem right now. So, I can't craft the scope. I would really love to have the scope. But it doesn't let me... Maybe they're going to put another update soon and we'll be able to craft it. I really hope so. I might also try to go change that in the config, uh, you know, just to, to be able to have it working. Uh, what also happened between... Well, I continued exploring. I can't even show you, like, the full map. Uh, but yeah, I went exploring. Like, you've got, like, the base possibilities uh, that I placed a little bit everywhere. And, like, the, there's some plus there's some minus to going to certain areas uh, but yeah let, let's just grab this because I do want to get my level up to be able to enchant my things uh, because currently I'm I'm running around with like <laughs> things that like are not even enchanted but yeah what was it there was another stuff Oh yeah, the, if you didn't know, the charging station is what uh, keeps you alive when you're an android. Oh, and they added something else. Matter Overdrive. Uh, they added a recipe for the red pill. Uh, simply because there's a problem with the mad scientist, there's not a lot, and when you talk to them, you pretty much crash your game. So now you can craft one like that. It will give you a red pill, and with the red pill, you can transform into an android. So, yeah. Flame chunk. Server info. What is all that? Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they added a couple of things just to, you know, to uh, to change some stuff. Uh, one other thing. I had no idea that it was there, okay? But there's a menu on the side here. Uh, and if you remove that, you can go in configuration and you can change the HUD so you can change the position of stuff like that. So let's say what I don't like is the HUD movement. So I just do done. Then I go back and when I move, oh, it didn't save. <laughs> okay, HUD movement, false, done, done. So now the HUD's not gonna move when I move around. So I think that's a little bit better. Uh, okay, I've got my gun, I've got my things. Yeah, there's two things I want to do, like, this episode. I really want to show you the areas, so we're going to go for the closest one. I think it was around... Yeah, this one's the closest one. So, if I go... Possible area 2. There you go. So, I'm going to head over there, and I'm going to show you the area. And you guys are going to have to help me choose the place that we want to live in, okay? So, I'll see you in a bit. Wow, really fast. This only took like a second. Kidding. Uh, so, you guys, I, I like this area simply because, like, first of all, it's one of my favorite biome. But the problem is the FPS drop down. Like, it does load a lot of leaves, a lot of stuff like that. So, it is a little bit annoying for that. But the place I would like to build is in here. This hole right here looks freaking amazing, and I like that. And I think this could give us, like, a good place to build. Maybe build something, like, under, coming out, and, like, going there, going around, going back in. And I think that would look pretty cool. Look pretty cool. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit what's around. Uh, there's a lake. No, no, it's not a lake, it's just, you know place and this place like looks amazing like the trees the giant trees and stuff like that just you know the it's it's a big area in this place 
it's rare normally they're super small biome J just like the one we have here it's super small compared to like this one right there it's pretty cool it's pretty cool but like i said it does lower your fps so that's something to take in mind uh when you put your things below uh which one is closer uh i'm gonna go to possibility three uh, well, wait, I'm just going to show you a little bit more around. Well, I could show you with the map. So there's those two big village here. Uh, around there's a little forest, not, nothing too much. But really the main part is that biome that we would build in. And maybe go a little bit on the side because I like the look of this biome a little bit here. Uh, if I show you this, I think I'm facing the wrong way. Yeah. Uh, like it's the ominous something, no? I'm not sure exactly. It's from Abyssal Craft. I think that's what it adds from. The look of it is pretty cool. Corallium infested swamp. So yeah, it looks pretty cool, but I presume there's some bad, 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 bad monsters spawning here. Like everything in Abyssal Craft. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's some bad things spawning in here. So, yeah, that, that's pretty much this place. Like I said, I would build, like, under the mountain. I might also remove the big trees and keep just the bushes. Just because the big trees are really hard on the FPS. Really, really hard. Like here, how, how many FPS do we get under here? So, yeah, you see, like... 80 and like there's nothing built oh dang i'm stuck on this there's nothing built yet so that that's kind of a problem if we're already at 70 so yeah i'm gonna head to possibility three wait no we're gonna go to possibility two first then i'm gonna show you possibility three so i'll meet you there and I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more to be the man who reached that point because it's really far. <laughs> Alright guys, we're almost there. Uh, there is one of these biome on the side also. Uh, it's really similar to the other place. Uh, you see this, this biome is on the side but the cliff that I was interested in is in this biome. I found that it looked pretty cool. It's like natural looking. Like you've got an overview around. Like it looks pretty cool. And you have this here that I've got no idea what it's for. Evil craft. Let's take a look. Found at dark temple. Not craftable. Okay, can we break it? Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, obtain when breaking a regular. And you can... Oh, nice. Okay. Right. I didn't know you could break them. But, yeah, so this is the area. Like, it's another one of those uh, foresty type of thing. So, yeah, there, there's a dead biome over there. A mountain here. The, the look on this side isn't so pretty... Oh, and I didn't raid that village. Let's go raid the village. I'll show you what I do when I get into a village. Okay, I get into the village and I'm looking for one roof in particular. And it isn't even here. They don't have any smeltery in this one. But it's alright. We're, uh, we're gonna go in here. Oh, four emeralds. Whoa! And yeah, I've done that like in so many villages. Uh, if you go around, you should be able to find the house. Like this one, I think. Nope, not this one. Uh, some of the houses look like that. They have a uh, matter over drive uh, stuff in them. So yeah. Yeah, little village. But yeah, the, this place is really there. Uh, like I said, it's like the mix of both. It's this one and that one. Uh, but again, we've got the same problem that like, see? 80, 60 to 80 FPS. 
So yeah, that that's kind of the problem here. So yeah, the possibility three is 7,500 blocks that way. <laughs> so we're currently here on the map and uh, no, we're not there on the map. We're currently here on the map and the other one is... <laughs> oh, there. So yeah, again, I'm gonna make my way there. So don't forget, this is choice two for you. There was choice one, which was just the, the, the sacred spring with the giant tree. Choice two is the cliff again, but with a different forest tea type thing, rainforest where we live in. And then we're going to go to the last one that way, which is a really different. It's a different type of build. It's more of a reference to pungence and schism in Attack of the B team where they built around a volcano type of thing area. So let's head over there and I'll show you the area. Oh guys, I think it's been like an hour. I've been flying or something. Kidding, not that long. But yeah, the, the biome's pretty much con configured that way. It's like ash rocks and ash stone and stone. And yeah, it just goes around. Uh, like it's crazy mountains, area. Uh, oh, wait, wait, I didn't see that chest. Give me that. Ah, there's nothing in there. <laughs> hey, but the spot I was thinking is more in that way. Like the biome's a little bit weird. It goes like into a hell L shape, pretty much. So yeah, kind of goes around like this area. It kind of looks cool because you like you've got the volcanic area with the temperate like climate next to it. Like that's pretty cool. It's like in the middle too. Everything. All right, so l let's see. Yeah, the, this spot was the spot I was thinking. I don't know why my cursor is on the left. But there's one little problem with that place. And it is that there's lava pretty much everywhere. There's patches of lava in the stone. So if you would mine in the middle, there would be patches of lava someplace in there. But what I was thinking was to, if I can find a spot, here it is. So you see it's a little bit more flat, you know, just to build a base would be a little bit better. But to make it look like, you know, a little bit more um, uh, technical type of base, and we would be able to maybe go around the area to maybe find a spot for more magic and things like that but yeah i would like maybe do a bunker or something like that go underground build a little bit more underground but the main like outside would be in some place like this so yeah that's the third choice that we have you know just just a little bit Ooh, i didn't know that there was another spot right there let's reload because we're losing a lot of uh, of frames ooh, ooh. Is he legendary? Is he legendary? No, he's two hit. <laughs> I still haven't found another one. I still haven't found the other, another legendary. But yeah, the, this place looks amazing and I love the look of that. Ooh, hero could be a good idea to just do something like on top. Yeah. I do enjoy this place a lot. It gives some challenge, like you can't build with wood. Uh, but yeah, guys. I want you to help me in the comment, which place do you prefer? This place, which is more volcanic, which is going to be more futuristic, which is going to be more metallic place. Or the forest area, where it's more going to be the first one that we saw, where it's more going to be a hanging base. And the second one, which is going to be more of a house on top of the hill that goes down into building into the mountain. So yeah, let me know. Or if you have another idea, like, oh, build a spaceship in the sky. Oh, uh, something else. Let me know in the comment section below so I know what I need to do. Uh, 
But yeah, that, that's not all I had planned for today. So what I have planned though is back at the base, which is 2,500 blocks in that direction. So I'm gonna do the trip again. I won't let you guys see all that. I'm gonna kill these guys, Jerby, and steal his things. And well, I'll meet you back at the base. All right, so we are back at the base and there's one thing I wanted to show you. Uh, you remember uh, matter? I did show you the red pill that you can craft it. It is important. They only made it possible with the melee android. So you need to have the melee part because when you get the parts from androids, you can have two two different types. You can have the range or the melee one. So just make sure you get all the melee parts to craft the red pill. Uh, I'm gonna put that thing there. And all right. So what I had planned is pretty simple. Pretty, pretty simple. We will need, if I can remember where I place my stuff, piece of paper. And yeah, you probably figured it out already. We're gonna make a sword. You know, just simply because we can. So, and I forgot to bring stone. No. <laughs> Come on. Let's get back up there. Let's grab our stone. Okay, we've got a stack. That should be enough to make the patterns. Dang it! I, I wasn't even there anymore. How did he explode the freaking door? Oh, uh, all right. <laughs> Guess we we're gonna have to fix the door, huh? Okay, so let's close this one just in case uh, another one comes. So what we're gonna need for the sword? Really, I don't have the pattern there. One would think the pattern would be in there. Uh, there it is. We're gonna make a broadsword. There's a couple different uh, swords you can make. Uh, I'm still not sure. I think I'm gonna. Should I make the guard out of paper? Yeah, I think I'm gonna make the guard out of paper. And we'll need the blade. Where's the blade? I don't even have the blade. Okay, we'll make the blade. Sword blade. Thank you. And well, we need the tool for that and I think we already have the tool rod over there so all right let, let's head there to see what we can do uh. so yeah I, I first installed a normal pipe here a normal fluid duct and it exploded when I tried to do gold because it can't take uh, hard fluid so instead I did uh, hardened fluid so Floydock, if I show you the hardened one, is just that. Uh, well, actually, it's not the one I did. It's this one. So just two invar and the lead. It's pretty easy to do. So yeah, and when I want to remove stuff from it, I just flick the lever. So I've got the invar, and what we're gonna need is manilium. So, well, actually, we're gonna need some gold first because I need to make some patterns. Uh, but we'll do this one and we'll run super fast at the top to get the gold. And the gold. Thank you. Uh, you can go back in there with that. Uh, I'll, I'll do pattern for the guard too, just in case. I don't know if it's actually any better. Uh, the patterns are going to, uh, the water, oh, wow, the paper is going to give us another modifier, which is pretty cool. Uh, go put the gold in there. I do hope it's not going to mix with the Envar. I don't think there's any recipe that mixes with the Envar. Okay, we've got the gold. Or some cast in there. And then we'll be able to get back this one. Remove that and pour us this. Nice. Okay, so let's go check out. <laughs> Thanks for removing that door, creeper. Okay, let us see. 
what it looks like. So if you didn't know, you need to use this one or this one or that one. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You just put this one, you put the rod and you put your middle. And that will give us half the durability would give us normally if you would use uh, another manillion there. But it does give us uh, four modifiers. So I think we're going to go with that. And eight damage, which is one lower than this one. But that, that's all good. That's all good. At some point where I actually think, on if I look on my map, I've got a place set up with, uh, with everything. Just give me a second. Yeah. I think if I go on the map and I go back here, around here, there's going to be a white dot somewhere that I'm going to have to find. And it's it's a sort of tower uh, made out of quartz, like something like that. You, uh, no, that's not the ones. It's it's exactly like those, but in quartz, and it's right here. So look, I'll just put quartz, and I'll do one twenty. So yeah, right there, I'll be able to go get quartz to put on it. So guys, check this out. Uh, f first of all, I went into uh, the, the place that I told you and I've got, check this out, two stacks of stairs, one stack of slabs, one stack and something of chisel quartz, 16 pillars, and 11 and a, well, it was 12 stacks of blocks of quartz. Yeah, just by destroying the tower. Uh, it did take a toll on my pick, like uh, on my uh, hammer a lot, but we were able to create that thing. 24 damage, and I just placed one lapis on it because I don't have a lot and I prefer using it on that one first. So I'm going to fill this one and then I'll do this one. Uh, but yeah, that's 24 damage. It's almost as powerful as our gun. So yeah, this is a pretty good sword. You can block, you can attack. So yeah, th there's other kind of swords, like uh, we could have done uh, the... What is it called? Just let's go to Tinkers and I'll think about it. Yeah, the, the Rapier. Uh, this one goes through armor, but I didn't find anything that really had any armor yet. So I, I still don't think maybe for PvP would be a good idea. But except that the, the broadsword is just like a little bit like this one. It's the same thing. Just this one, I think, has a little bit different look. So yeah, we went for that one. And the long sword is pretty much you have like a jumping ability. Uh, you you can like uh, you you charge and like you go forward, and you attack while you do that. Uh, there's also the battle axe. That's pretty nice. The battle axe. We might do one in the future. Uh, I do like those, like, they, they're not really useful or anything, but they're pretty cool. But, yeah, guys, so, like I said, don't forget to tell me, uh, which should I choose, armor or attack? And between the three different spots that we saw, or if you can figure out another one, just let me know, let me know in the comment which one you think we should go for. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to leave a like, comment for those kind of things. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. It helps me a lot. And it helps me get closer to you guys. So, yeah guys, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.